thank you, Thomas Egele, and uh, also Jean-Michel, to invite me because finally uh, I will tell you the real truth story about the beginning of Phantom. In fact, we were founded in 1785, and it was in Paris. And uh, we have developed the first computer. We call that E. Woody, and uh, it was made by my father. That made very good things. That was our first logo, but they uh, somebody can take it, you know. And it uh, it was me at school between uh, Bill Gates and Steve Jobs. I am here in the room, in circle. I know now why Steve Jobs has this logo. I know that. I draw that. In. That's a pipeline in progress. We made the first. And, uh, and also the Render Farm. Which was, yeah. And this is, yeah, except this was a testing for a hard drive disk of 100 megabytes. And that's, we invented the pixel. <laughs> I have the photo. Okay. And that's for my first laptop. And this is Jean-Charles Lourdecad at INA. They had bigger computer than us. And, uh, and at Sogitech, this is Xavier Nicolas and Jerzy Cular working behind that. And this is the early work on insectors. It was the first inspiration that we, we had. And uh, also, these are the fellow I cannot forget, Jean-Yves Graal, Renato, and we, we started the company. And just a little bit later, Philippe Bonnard joined us, and we'll make a special Red Nose ceremony to welcome him and at the club. And uh, this is the story of my, my Kate facing the new technologies. I think he's not very convinced by that. So, then we discovered the color, <laughs> the RGB, and uh, maybe we can start with the opening, please, DVD, the first one. <laughs> Thank you for us. Okay. Just a little story about this uh, little fellow. Uh, he was, he, that was one of the, the animation made with Arctic. And Arctic uh, comes from research at Lina and with the uh, inverse kinematic. And we had funny time with that. Uh, sometimes the dog doesn't jump where we wanted <laughs> it goes and the fee were going in the inverse. But also, uh, TDI developed for us a special texture. This is not a joke. They made a big, big film about revolution in France, and they had the mapping, but for bricks. And when I asked them to make a mapping on the, on the cylinder like this, it doesn't work. So they made it specially for us. Thank you, Jean-Charles. OK. So quickly, Phantom. Um, I talk about the founder, first work, advertising, commercials, graphic design, logo, corporate thing, channel identities, other work to feed the fridge. You know what I'm talking about. 87, first homemade films on Cubicomp. Biosensor, a parody of Takashi Fukumoto's Biosensor. Beautiful film. We were ha, like this. We were ray tracing, a big tiger with reflection, and we were really... Uh, very in admiration for that, and uh, we, we, we made a stupid animal, a cat, that you will see to parody. And also we parody also, you always parody somebody you, you like somewhere, of course, of John Lasseter's Luxo Junior. That was about your sensor. 
In 89, first TV series, 50 times 3 minutes, the geometric tales, fables. And you have your iron bottle here, just. That makes the very first fable on a SGI computer with TDI. Hello. <laughs> and um, the long feature, the um, TV series, started in sectors, uh, 26 times 13 minutes, and, and then in 1906 we made a special TV of 26 minutes, which was supposed to be a test to go step by step to, we had the pretension to make a long feature film at that time. So, and um, 1998, Giraffe of Mordio, short animation film adaptation from the cartoons of Mordio, if you know. The then 1999, we jump down. And uh, since 2000, several projects in development of uh, maybe a feature film. So, Fly Bill, first animated spot made at Sogitech. Thank you, Xavier Nicolas, which is here also. And uh, I don't know, I hesitate to show you that because at the moment it was very exceptional for us, but now today when you see Beowulf or something like that, okay, let's go for this little fellow. It was on a Perkins Elmer, 2.5 million francs at that time, more, three, last price, and five megabytes of RAM memory. That's right. So how, how long did it take to do this at the time? I think for one image like this, it was, we, we, we said we, must not go more than a quarter of hour, 15 minutes, no? Yeah. For one image. Real time on the first computer. 3DS Max, yeah. 15 minutes. So enjoy. <laughs> 15 minutes for that. And, um, okay, that's TDI. And also thanks to Jean-Charles Lecrand. Hello. Uh, we had the possibility to make the first uh, institutional film, and uh, Jean-Charles maybe can talk about that later. He, he knows much better the technical aspect of that, which was a funny story in a way. Um, so, please, some excerpts. <laughs> He was made uh, with uh, Renato, but also there was uh, Jean-Christophe Bernard who made the design of that. He is today developer at Sparks. I don't know, Jean-Christophe Bernard. The first time I, I met him, it was in a computer shop, and I bought a uh, die, which was a Belgian uh, smooth computer, and uh, it has uh, eight bytes, and it developed a program on the Memorex. And I made my first image on that, thanks to the program that he developed. A lot of time. No oh. image to show. So this is a famous biosensor, Cyrember, 
But what, attack, what you will see is a parody of uh, John Lasseter. And the Cubicom was a funny machine because uh, the camera was fixed and it has the world has to be moved in front of the camera, you know. But I know that perfectly, how to manage this kind of animal. So uh, biosensor also, um, tell you a little story after, well, yeah, thank you. You discovered him. In. Sayo Benbo, the famous remake of Biosensor. Now, he comes back. In an abominable parody created by the crazy minds of Phantom Company. to John Lasseter, Pixar. Junior! a prize of the public at Imagina with that Grand Prix du Public, I don't know and uh, when we exit somebody come to me and say oh, this film is, is fantastic and I remember you, it was um, uh, a film inspired by uh, Takashi Fukumoto he said your film is really fantastic that's great and uh, the horse is really great <laughs> It's not a horse, it's a cat. <laughs> so, ge Geometric Fable, it was 1989-92, 50 times three minutes, and also we made a longer for educational, we, made un we add that two minutes of uh, um, pedagogic, um, teaching, I don't know, educational thing, and uh, software TDI on silicon graphics, and uh, thank you again, Anne, for starting the company. So the story, for those who don't speak French, is um, 
the, the, the telling of the story is Pierre Perrin, which is a famous singer in France, but not very known now. He made the boys here, and uh, in, in, in one way, it's a wolf and the dog is a fable about the fact that uh, the wolf doesn't have to eat. It was uh, snowing, and he find a very uh, cozy house and enter in the house and look everywhere, oh, it's fantastic, things to eat, things to play with, and so on. Ah, oh, I find a friend, a little dog, but he look at the dog, and the dog was not free, and so he escaped. That's from Fable, inspired by Aesop. Please. <laughs> Dans une piole douillette où créchait un clébard, un loup décide un jour d'aller traîner ses guêtres. Il se dit, après tout, pour moi qui suis honneur, cette vie de pacha n'est pas loin du bien-être. Folly, il dit bonjour, il fait ami-ami. Le chien a l'air sympa. Ici, rien de brutal. Pas de neige, ni de chasseur, pas de piège. Bien nourri. Quand le kleps met pourtant le nez dans sa marmite, la laisse autour du cou soudainement se tend. Et un garde furieux lui rappelle les limites de sa pauvre liberté. Le loup, lui, prit du champ. Car contre un bol de soupe et un méchant collier... Il choisit la vie libre, avec tous ses dangers. Moralité, quand t'as le gîte et le couvert, que tu te la coules douce, d'une façon ou d'une autre, faudra bien que tu rembourses. Just a little thought to Renato, which is really a very talented director, and also the animator, which was Gilles Merlouette. And we had, uh, we discovered that uh, we had very good animators. It was always a pleasure to work with uh, this kind of people. Georges, uh, we do you remember how many fables there were total? How many fables did you we do? We made 50. 50? 50 okay. fables of three minutes each. It, Took three, three to four years, something like that. So, and were you already organized as a production studio like today, where you had? No, but it was in fact the first time that we did that because the first uh, fable were made like an one artist, computer artist, take a fable and make everything. And at the beginning, we were in this situation. But little by little, we realized that to make 50 fable was another problem. But also, we discovered that some computer artist doesn't want 
wanted to make all the film together. There were some which were more, more patient by the sculpture, so they go to the modeling. Some others, like Manu, je pense à Emmanuel Jai, doesn't want to do nothing except rendering because he comes from art school and he's, uh, he, he, he makes painting now. Or some others who wanted to make animation and nothing else. So we become like a Ford industry, Taylorism, <laughs> but not because of us, but because of the, of the people also. And we started now to learn how to manage a little pipeline. You, you saw the pipeline test before, so we made it smaller after. But um, it's, uh, uh, and also the fable make evolution because every day, every time we had a new invention from Jean Charles, which is behind the camera here, each time he had an, an invention, for example, the next uh, film I will show you, which is the, um, the iron pot and the clay pot and the iron pot. In fact, they invented the stretch and the squetch, and we started to use it in, in this fable, for example. Okay, so the, no, it's my vote here, geometric fable, that's the clay pot. Thank you. Un jour, un pot de fer, ma star solide et beau, proposa un pot d'argile la plus fine pour faire connaissance de guincher un mambo. « Je suis bien trop fragile, » dit l'autre, « et je devine qu'au moindre petit choc, ma tendre carapace éclaterait comme figue au soleil africain. »« Mais non, le risque est nul, te caille pas la laitance, » lui dit le pot de fer. <rire> « Près de moi, tu ne crains rien. Je serai le rempart entre toi et l'ennemi. Si le moindre loc du vient à te chercher noise, je prendrai tes patins. Pour devenir ami, la solidarité n'était le point à la base. Mambo. d'amitié qui faussa leur rapport en laissant un vivant, l'autre quasiment mort. En réalité, quand sardines et baleines font joujou dans la baille, il y en a forcément une qui paume ses écailles. Just for fun, another one blue hour. We were very surprised to, to, to be selected as a seagraph in the big room, big screen. And uh, the guy who designed it said, thank you, George, because we have very boring scientific films from Japan, and then we will, we will have simulation of the body inside, and I put time to time your little spot. I said, oh, wow. And I was in the room, Big room, maybe, I don't know, see what, 1,000, 2,000, I don't know, a lot of people. And I was in the middle looking at the screen, and the, 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 the dog started. 
Okay, little implode, thank you, I'm happy. But when the second happened, everybody make, the beginning is and all the room made that. So I tell immediately to Renato, <laughs> success we had. Oh, yeah, please. Okay, and, uh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> ah, insectors. We get an international Emmy Award. Yes, sir, we did in uh, 1994. So it was distributed in 160 countries and more than 40 international awards. Yes, madam, we had. So, want to see an Emmy Award? That's an Emmy Award. Want to see it again? Okay, that's an Emmy Award. <laughs> really, that's changed our life because when you have the success from America when you come with a French touch back to home. <laughs> so every banker is here like that. It's very pleasant to see the bankers asking if you don't want money. No, no, so thank you. Okay, kind of pleasure that uh, I remember perfectly. So I will show you the making of in sectors. In fact, to me, it, it, it was a payload made uh, to search producer, financing, and so on. And the rule is that when you wanted to make a pilot, you need to have a TV channel interested in. And TV channel say, OK, we will give you money. We will help you. The CNC, Central National Cinematography, also give a little bit of money. And you have a package of money to start a pilot. And the use in 2D animation is when you make a pilot, you make a pilot of 2D animation of 26 minutes. So we had to deal with the people and said, wow, uh, in these techniques, you know we cannot make 26 minutes just like that. It's, uh, so they said, OK, we listen to you. And then after that, we tried to find a way to make it shorter, but also not to make all the modeling of all the characters and all the things, because we didn't have the money for that. So we invented a story where the making of is, in fact, the story that the, the, the development of, of the story is not finished. It's a work in progress. Monseigneur Crabeau! Monseigneur Crabeau! Monseigneur Crabeau! Monseigneur Crabeau! Cet insecte essoufflé à la recherche de Monseigneur Crabeau ne sait pas qu'il est en avance sur le tournage d'une série en train de naître. Il arrive dans la cité troglodyte et. Oh Horreur! Les décors sont à peine esquissés. Heureusement. Le storyboard va le guider dans les profondeurs crépusculaires du repère des Burke vers la grande salle du trône. Il passe sans façon entre les deux frères Butop. Monseigneur Crabeau Monseigneur Crabeau Monseigneur Crabeau Eh bien, une seconde, une seconde Monseigneur Crabeau n'en est encore qu'à l'état d'étude. C'est le crayon qui va tout d'abord lui donner sa, sa forme et, et son caractère. Son caractère méchant, fourbe, ambitieux et petit. Oh, tout petit. Oui, mais je suis le chef. D'après les dessins définitifs, on réalise une maquette en volume qui permet d'enregistrer dans l'ordinateur toutes les coordonnées du personnage en hauteur, en largeur et, et en épaisseur. On obtient alors un maillage en fil de fer. Fil de fer, fil de fer, mais est-ce que j'ai une tête de fil de fer Oui, bon, euh, fil de fer, disais-je, qui permet de visualiser le personnage sous tous les angles.
On habille ensuite ce maillage pour donner à la marionnette tout son volume. Un grand choix de couleurs et de textures va permettre de finaliser l'aspect du personnage. Un peu de bleu ici, beaucoup de violet là, et puis hop, une pointe de jaune. Ça va pas, hein Je hais la couleur Oh, pardon, pardon. Bon, alors un peu de noir ici, beaucoup de noir là, et puis hop, une pointe de noir. Voilà. Tous les personnages de la série ne partagent pas la même passion pour le noir. Comme le grand artificier, magicien de la couleur. Spotty. L'éclaireur Joyce. Les tests d'animation vont définir la façon de marcher, de, de bouger, de gesticuler et de s'exprimer des héros. Il ne leur manque plus que la parole. Qu'est-ce que c'est Qui déranger me déranger Qu'est-ce que c'est Qui ose me déranger on peut enfin passer à l'animation en trois dimensions. Les poses clés sont attribuées au squelette de la marionnette. L'ordinateur calcule ensuite tous les mouvements intermédiaires afin de composer une animation fluide que l'on peut filmer sous tous les angles. Et voilà notre héros enfin prêt. Il déambule dans les coulisses de l'ordinateur en attendant d'entrer en scène. Le décor est créé selon le même procédé que les personnages. Et comme sur un plateau de cinéma, le metteur en scène peut régler les éclairages, les ambiances, les cadrages et les mouvements de caméra. Silence sur le plateau Moteur Tout est en place. Ça le tournage va pouvoir enfin commencer Action Monseigneur Crabeau Monseigneur Crabeau Qu'est-ce que c'est Qui ose me déranger C'est terrible C'est épouvantable Il y en a partout Partout Mais de quoi Mais de la couleur, Monseigneur De la couleur Sur les plantes, sur les fleurs Chez les Joyce, c'est la fête des couleurs ah C'est les provocations colorées de ces ahuris bariolés ah, Je n'aime pas la couleur
Okay. So, just few words about the, the series. I had 26 times 13 software explore TDI and silicon graphic. I already said that. And the special uh, 26 minutes. That and so we had the project of a full HD 16 by 9 in for the series 2, but it was 13 time we expected to do 13 times 26 minutes instead of 26 times 13 minutes because in 13 minutes we realized that you can talk about action or emotion you really don't have the time to develop a scenario that can fit with the two uh, system and with the two emotions. And uh, that's uh, maybe a future film. It's always in my head. We have started to do that, of course, with new design considering the evolution of texting, software, and software. Yes, sir, I know. <laughs> it will be otherwise, it will not be possible. But maybe the story can deserve to spend some time for a new script. And now and that's a, a series of one minute shorts from the books of uh, Mordillon, which is an international cartoonist. <whistles> So, thank you for your attention. Thank you, sir, for the technical support.